fooling around. But I'm serious about my What's wrong, Luffy said. I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh, really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women, and of everyone, really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Well, um... It's like Zavid said, you start talking with your fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought.
Clearly knows he's hey, walking into a trap. Sorry, YouTube. What I don't get is why he roped me into all bit. of this. Uh, if he didn't want my help, we then just what rolled need up on did he Eisen. have to play the I freak card on Nothing's me? happened so far. Just if you knew this around. was a trap, why did you come? To see for myself. When I met Ifried, I was wallowing in despair that I would ever find a way to break the Reaper's curse. Stop denying reality, he told me. If you were really born with that curse, then it's a part of you. But if the Reaper learns to grasp the wheel of his life, even he may find his creed, his path through stormy waters. And so, I joined him aboard the Von Eltia. A creed of life. Let's say someone's murdered the captain. If it came as the result of him living life on his terms, I could accept that. But if anyone, and I mean anyone, tries to crush his way of life, I could never forgive them. Who's there? Yeah, come on. It's rude to eavesdrop. If you got secrets, talk about them at home. Zavid, isn't there any way you and Aizen can work together somehow? Not if he's going to keep acting like this. Well, that's how it is. What was the point of all that posturing? He could have just stayed hidden. Weirdo. Can't disagree there. Loringen Tower is a training ground for exorcists, right? Yes. It's a great edifice built on ancient ruins. said, did you ever go there when you were tethered to Teresa? I don't really remember the beginning of my service to Teresa. I see. What sort of training do they do there? Exorcists are tested and assigned Malachim equivalent to their aptitude with mana. It's also where they practice Malak arts and study our laws. So the lower ranks use it as a sparring ground in order to train up to the higher ranks? No, an exorcist's affinity to mana is not something that strengthens through training. We are given Malachim based on our inborn ability then learn arts to suit that ability. So, an orderly is an orderly for life, then? Correct. There'd be no spirit of competition, then. Don't they want to get stronger, to advance through the ranks? There'd be no purpose to advancement. Rank signifies nothing more than the type and number of Malachim one can tether. People join the Abbey for only two reasons. To protect people from demons, and to save the world. Are all of you that yeah. dedicated to asceticism? How sickeningly noble of you. I wonder if your wills are suppressed just like those of the Malachim you use. Deviants like you could never possibly understand our motives. Blood chunks, blood. In any case, that is who awaits you at Blee. Loringen Tower. So we're in for a rough welcome. Blee. I say bring it on. I can't wrap my head around Zavid. Hmm. We witnessed his unwillingness to kill before, but it seems he's quite serious about it. Maybe that's why I don't feel scared of him. Even when he and Aizen were about to fight, I didn't feel tense at all. Perhaps that's just because you've been around Velvet a bit too long, kiddo. Next to her, few people are frightening. Do you think so? Don't ask me. <laughs> he doesn't come across as vicious. I think that's why you're not scared. Because he's just a brawler? <laughs> Maybe he's just naive. Okay, so he's just a naive brawler. He's still involved with Eifried's disappearance, and he's also taking on the Abbey. I just don't get him. Me neither. Uh-huh. I agree, but I don't understand any of you either.
I don't get it. Get what? Why did Eifried let Aizen join his ship, knowing he carried the Reaper's curse with him? What good did it do? I just don't see the reason behind it. Well, if it were me who had that curse, it would mean that you and Velvet could die because of it, right? Yeah, I suppose so. If that's the case, then I'd feel like I'd both want to and not want to be close to you two. And I'd probably really, really hate myself for it. Do you suppose that's how Aizen feels? But Eifried still took him in. He agreed they put up with the curse together. It's all a bit hard to fathom. Well, if one thing's for certain, it sounds like Eifried's a very strong man. At least for a base lawless pirate. Ooh, I want to get Eifried. Run! Aizen, can I ask you about that thing Savid had? It belonged to Eifried, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives on weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the far continent. It's a relic from a long-vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we've found, that one was his most prized. What is it? I can't say. It seemed like a weapon, but Eifried wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own. Then came back all grinning, saying he had an ace up his sleeve the next time we got into a fight. <laughs> then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device? But why is Zavid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Yeah, ancient Did he really device. steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but... Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. He said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps. I'll end this quickly. bothering to hide this trap they probably knew we'd sense it the question now is just what they're planning to spring on us bring it on
Excuse me. Ice cream and soda break. So technically, it was a root beer float, root beer float break. I can't remember the last time I got a root beer float. That sounds really good. A hamburger. Like a 90s style hamburger. I have a perfect... There is a TV show with a perfect 90s style hamburger and fries. And I will never tell anyone what it is. It will only exist in my mind. Oh, it's a wonderful little thought. Aizen. When and how did Ifree disappear exactly? And how did you two meet in the first place? You know, you ask an awful lot of questions about us. What? I don't mean to pry, really. Perhaps it's a habit I picked up from my work. Drat, it seems I've been digging too hard. No matter. Ifree vanished about a year ago. <sighs> he agreed to fight a duel against someone and secretly left to meet his opponent. Once we figured out what was happening, we rushed to the scene. But all we found was the aftermath of a fight, and a pendulum. Was Zavid his opponent? Given his choice of weapon and his ability to fight, I'd say it's likely. What I don't get is why Ifrid would end up captured and imprisoned by the Abbey after a fight with a stray Moloch. The Abbey had him prisoner? On their island. Until an exorcist named Melchior took him away, that is. What? Lord Melchior did? The Abbey would have captured Ifrit about what? a year ago. Surely it must have caused quite a stir. I, I was simply patrolling. I wasn't involved in any such operations. Oh, but I do remember that we suffered a great number of casualties around that time. I never heard why, and when I went to investigate, I found no records of any major deployment. And then I was ordered to cease any such investigation. By Lord Melchior. Uh, That's fishy. He wanted to hide something, clearly. And I think I'm starting to get a picture of what it was. And... It involves the Abbey? By golly molly, I think it may. Hello. I freed. Oh. So... This is Von Eifried. Eisen, it's good to see you again. So you're alive. You could have sent a letter. <laughs> when have you ever written a letter to another man? <laughs> True. Aside from my little brother, not even once. Your brother? Ah, yes. You told me that one. Eisen, why? I've got no brother. Oh. Enough of your tricks! Okay, what? Thanks for luring him out. I owe you one. Zavid. Now come on out, you old coot! Lord Melchior. Breaking through my double illusion. Impressive. I'm making a point not to fall for the same tricks twice. I shouldn't have let you get away last time. I won't make that mistake again. Holy shit. That was a good trick. <laughs> what? Why am I here? Her consciousness has returned. So that is its power. Demon, what? This 
can't be happening. Oh God, they're all turning into demons. The chain reaction. Your Reaper's curse is quite a dreadful affliction, isn't it? Don't you run away! Heads up! Wyvern's coming! All right. Why would an exorcist create a demon? Hey, worry about that later. We've got damn dragons to take care of. Take care of these dragons. Oh, I see Moggy do this. Nice. Demon, bish. Looks like you got caught in your own trap, old and man. And Melchior's caught. Oh my oh, God! How everything's worked that. out. That. Ah! Ah! What the? 
I'll take care of the last one. Jump in and kill without a second thought. Is that your creed? Marvelous. Your Siegfried is just the power I've been looking for. Nope. What? My work here is done. The hell did you do? Wait, damn you! Follow them! Pretty obvious we did there, bruh. Wait, am I going? Going this way? Where the hell did they go? Find them. They can't have gotten far. Wait, what? Damn, you sure got some speedy legs for an old fart. I'm glad to see you're okay, Zabid. It's not me that I'm worried about. Melchior was highly interested in your weapon. And yet he didn't steal it. Surely a legget like him could snatch it if he wanted to. Why bother stealing it? When you can just copy its hidden formula. Some arts can decipher the workings of other arts in a split second. And guess what Melchior's specialty is? As he left, he said, My work here is done. The Abbey must have some use for that unknown art. Who knows what? After all, they brought it here from another continent. 
<laughs> then we'll find out what they're after and crush it to dust. Let me ask you just one question. Why do you have Siegfried? I'm counting on you, he said. Back when I served the Exorcists, they sent me on a mission to capture Eifried. Zavid, you were once their slave? Yeah. My mind was under the influence of Inominat's domain. But when Eifried aimed this baby at me, one shot was all it took to open my eyes. The fight we had after that was one for the books. <laughs> you might have been a human, but that guy was a beast. Put a song in my soul. But then Melchior had to jump in and spirit Eifried away with one of his damned illusions. That old bastard! Playing tricks with people's minds. But why'd he grab Eifried and not Siegfried when he had the chance? He probably didn't know at the time that this guy was the real prize he was after. But Eifried knew. Right before he was taken, he distracted Melchior long enough to hand Siegfried over to me. <sighs> well, that's all I know. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. Got it. We're done here. Huh? That was easy. Eifried only says I'm counting on you to people he trusts. Is that so? So, what are you gonna do now? Gonna keep looking for Eifried. So gotta give this back and settle our score. I doubt you have much time left to get that done. I'd hazard a guess that until now, Melchior was unaware what Siegfried could really do. In other words, he and the Exorcists weren't able to interrogate <coughs> anything out of their captive. And now that Eifried's no longer needed, I see no reason for them to keep him alive. You think I don't know that? If you uh -oh. really want to save Eifried, you probably ought to team up with us. <gasps> nope. No can do. Why not? You lot will do anything to achieve your goals. Even kill. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a fighter, not a killer. I won't steal a single life. That's just my creed. And I've got no intention of changing our pirate creed, either. Aizen and Zavid have their own creeds. They both have such strong principles. Ooh, even though they're so deep. different. Just like humans. Wow. Well, that was sure something. Melchior and his illusions are cheats. There's no cheating in combat. What I meant is that they were awfully dirty tricks for an upstanding exorcist. And the illusion seemed so real. Had that gone on any longer, I wouldn't have been able to tell what was real and what was fake. If it can't be distinguished from reality, perhaps one could live a happier life within the illusion. Hmm. That sort of happiness can rot. You think so? But by using illusions, you can defeat an opponent without causing them any physical harm. Oh, how humane. Wow, the Abbey is so great. Lord Melchior is an exemplary man who has served Lord Artorias since before the Abbey's founding. He's done everything from logistical planning to defense strategy and even political negotiations. He shows the utmost concern, even for his opponents, so... He turned a friendly Moloch into a dragon. Th that was... Physical wounds can heal. Emotional wounds never fully fade. Yeah, Truce. but... Don't lose heart, Eleanor. Foul play is foul play, but you're talking to a demon and a witch. Who can judge? I appreciate that you're trying to console me, but as an exorcist, I cannot accept this. Wow. Take a look at this. <gasps> oh! I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Scout ship setting sail. Hmm. 
Children's clothes. More odd junk, huh? A pendant? Nothing of any worth to me. This is the party I want. It's strange man, but Even a short weapon is effective up close. And training can help it get even closer. Turn to the fan LT at Port Renee. This looks like it will take us somewhere. There's unopened treasure chests. Finish this now. Okay, Beating up the weak 
I'm not one to go easy. Damn it, this looks like a spot where a pirate ship would be, right? Shit. Sucks. Find the pond not there. At least give me like a portal. Nope. Interesting text.
go to find the Von Althea. If there was an item, that would be great. Is it exit the dungeon button? I guess. So, well, I really get frustrated. Fuck this dungeon. You're out of this bitch. So I think I went up last time, so I gotta go down. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all. But do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zaviv use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... Excuse kablooey. Me. Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Interesting text, boys. Oh. Not in my playlist. So I'm 
dungeon. Oh. No. Ah. Oh. Thought I was gonna lose um, that one. Laffy said, "May I ask you something?" What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- uh, Shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Luffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on now. Like, a wife he wants to leave but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is a daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name, perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children, but they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? What's going on? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Fucking love Rotoro. Rotoro, you are the man. interesting stuff for YouTube.
train wreck. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology, so maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess.
I think it's time to save. 